I am again here to show you another way of using Excel for our financial planning. We can use the Goal Seek tool of Microsoft Excel for finding the sustainable growth rate of the firm that is possible without generating any additional fund from external sources. To do that, at first, I would ask you to copy this worksheet, the AFN worksheet, at the end and before the assumption. Now let us rename this worksheet as Sustainable Growth Rate SGR. Okay, and now uh, for estimating the sustainable growth rate, we are going to use the Goal Seek tool of Microsoft Excel. To use the tool, it is useful to have the whole set of calculation in the same worksheet. We already have the calculation of AFN on this worksheet, but uh, we do not have the growth rate. Actually, uh, by, uh, by using this tool, we are going to find the uh, possible growth rate without having any additional funds needed. So we, uh, we should have the growth rate in this worksheet and that should be part of the calculation of AFN. In order to do that, uh, I'm going to include uh, the additional information here and I need some space. So let me bring the whole thing down a bit. Uh, okay and uh, and let me uh, add the information first like i will uh, like to have the sales growth rate okay the focus of our analysis in this worksheet growth rate of sales and we know that the growth rate is in the sales forecast worksheet okay uh, and we can see that the growth rate here is uh, we have assumed that it will be the average of the last three years growth rate and we found that it was 1.14 percent therefore equals 1.14 percent c9 it should be centered also to be consistent with other well now uh, for calculating the additional funds needed we have used the sales we have used the change of sales in the year 2016 and that is linked directly from the sales forecast worksheet but to get the sustainable growth rate in this worksheet we should have our calculation based on the growth rate presented here okay Therefore, the change of sales in 2016 uh, should be recalculated here and I'm going to do that. The change of sales in the year 2016 should be equal to the sales in the last year times the growth rate. And now you will see that we have the same value but the calculation is linked to the growth rate of cells so now if you uh, you know if, if for example you change the growth rate to two percent directly then the whole calculation will change therefore the whole calculation is now um, is now linked uh, with each other before applying the goal seek tool we have to examine the whole calculation so that we do not have anything here that involve the growth rate, but we do not include this cell. Okay, so uh, what are the possible area that should include the growth rate in the calculation? You can see asset is asset. We don't need the growth rate here. Sales of the last year is before the growth. Current liabilities is also for the last year. And the change of sales in we already include uh, C7 here net profit margin is also from the past financial statements 
forecasted sales in the next year right this one you know this one should also include the growth rate and we have to use it from here so the forecasted sales of the next year should be equals to sales of the last year times one plus the growth rate of sales okay and dividend of dividend in year 2015 is the information of year 2015 so we don't need to link it with the growth rate okay now i think the things are okay well before applying the goal seek tool of microsoft excel one thing is very important the value of the growth rate should not be a formula it should be just uh, the value so to make sure that we have a value instead of formula we click the click the growth rate cell then copy it and paste it here in the same cell by pressing ctrl c and ctrl v uh, one after another okay then when we press ctrl v we select paste values okay so you can see now we don't have the formula and also we have the we have the whole value here you know uh, instead of a rounded value okay so now what we do now we can apply the goal seek function no be why because our afn is calculated based on different values including this one and now we are going to use the goal seek tool to see which value of the cell c7 will result the value of c value of c22 to be zero okay so to apply the goal seek tool go to data and then click what if analysis and then click goal seek now you must remember that we have to select the appropriate cell uh, for which we want the we want a particular value okay so we can see now it is e21 so we have to change it to c22 okay and the value we want for c22 is zero okay and the cell that we want to change and see for which the value of c22 will be zero is c7 so we click c7 then press ok and you will get the result you can see microsoft excel was trying to find different uh, you know trying different values of c7 to get the value of c22 zero and at last found that 12.27 percent growth rate will be will result the additional funds needed to be zero i hope that you can apply the goal seek tool very well for your analysis thank you very much